really started looking hard in 2008. Uh, really what happened was uh, we had a meter reading winter storm, I'll say. Our manual meter readers left uh, for different jobs. We had terrible weather and our read rate fell tremendously inside the company. So uh, at that time our executive says, you gotta really go back and really look at AMR or AMI. And that was a really kickoff to go hard at it. We had no mandate from the state or any sort of funds coming directly. So we had to make it be net present value positive inside our organization to get the funds inside the company. We went hard at operating uh, uh, benefits. And in that respect, we did go talk to various vendors about the products they had. Uh, went through a pretty tedious review process. And in the end, it did come up with iTran because they have the solutions that we want to use. We had about 4 million meters. Uh, gas and electric, about uh, 2.8 electric, 1.2 or so uh, gas. 35% uh, of the meters inside houses too, which is a tough time for us to get in and get those. We've right now installed uh, right around 3 million total between the combination of uh, both of those. When we started AMI approximately five years ago, we embarked on a, on a, a discussion of a strategy to have a seamless uh, network infrastructure that was both private and leverage public infrastructure such as lease carriers to manage how we how we manage devices, how we manage the energy flow, the energy uh, disconnects. Uh, we deployed, uh, along with the iTron metering technology, we deployed a number of products for grid automation as well as network automation. We, we get the benefit of both advanced metering information coming back to DT as well as grid automation using the same infrastructure and the same investment and spend. So the meters um, have a remote switch in them that allows us to disconnect or reconnect um, the meter over the air. It's worked out really well and in fact we process anywhere between 3,500 and 4,000 remote actions on the meter per day. Every one of those remote actions has a truck roll that's avoided. You're also saving potential um, issues from a safety perspective. If you're disconnecting a customer and you're on premise doing that, some of these customers are disgruntled about being disconnected, so you're avoiding that completely. The customers um, are now familiar with the fact that we have this remote disconnect capability. They are very happy about the fact that they can be restored immediately. For customers moving in and moving out, um, they get an actual read on the meter for both the out and the in, so there's no more prorating. We do anywhere between 10 and 15 disconnects of a meter for emergency purposes during the month. Um, police and fire situations where there might be a home on fire, they need to disconnect the power. Um, where there's gas leak, we get calls from our, our neighboring gas companies where we have the electric in that area to disconnect the meter because they want to do a leak investigation. So it's something we didn't realize up front, but um, definitely taking place now. So DT Insight is a mobile platform, basically, that provides residential customers the ability to read or actually see energy use real time. Um, so what it's, it's got a number of features built into it, but the primary purpose is to be able to educate customers on how they're using energy. A couple of things, ways you can look at it. First of all, um, you know, what this product does is help our customers use the product we're selling them more effectively, and that's important for a customer relationship. So if a customer wants to know how to use uh, energy more effective in their house, is one, one way they can do that, that's helpful. I think the next steps is gonna be, we put a lot of base functionality in with AMI. This next step, next phase will be using it to better efficiency any other systems we have. Integration, I mean, there's a lot of work to do. Analytics, we're gonna learn a lot more than we ever had a chance to learn before. So all these are very positive for us going forward, and I think that's the next steps. So we're in need of an analytics package, something that um, will give us more of a graphic view of how the system is performing, give us the ability to drill down to individual meters to understand an individual device's um, issues that we need to resolve, and then have a better comprehensive look at how the system is performing. We're starting a pilot project next year around looking at smart lighting. Uh, the smart lighting is, again, another node in the ITRON network that basically communicates data back on its health, uh, how it's operating, and the energy being sensed. And, uh, and so we can better operationalize or manage that asset over time. DT Energy manages uh, over 280,000 streetlights for, for local municipalities today. And so in the future, we can do that job a little better 
with smart sensing and smart lighting.